So it's August the 4th, it's 10.37 in the morning and we have been driving for 71.5 miles and we're going on our way to Milton Keynes so we're doing our road trip. So we're doing, what is the actual road drive? So we're going to Milton Keynes, Coventry, Coventry, Stoke on Trent, Stoke on Trent. We're doing like Lawn Towers and stuff there. Lawn Towers. Great and Manor. Great and Manor. Then we're going to Stratford upon Avon. Stratford. And then Western Superman. Western. We're going to Bath. Oh yeah, we're doing some trips from there. So we're going to Bath. Bath. Longmeat. Longmeat. Woogie Hole. And Bristol. And maybe Barry Island. So there's what about 11 places? Yeah. Yes. Take and nine. So we're on our way to um, X Gate up in Milton Keynes to go and do this indoor golf thing and then we're doing some VR thing as well. And then uh well, guess, guess and in Coventry we go yeah, it gets me to be in Coventry we're going swimming. Yeah, we're going swimming in Coventry River. It's cheaper. Uh, for twenty two miles, continue straight on. Yeah, catch up. And then go from there. It was one stroke? Yeah, no, it was one drag. Nah. <laughs> yeah. so Mr. Mulligan. So we've just done uh, Mulligan's. Yeah. Which is like an indoor kind of crazy golf kind of idea. It was quicker than they made it out on the... Uh, yeah, because they were saying it was going to take like an hour per site, and we did it in like... 20 minutes. Yeah, so this is the card for it, and that's the scores. The, I, the actual aim of Crazy Golf is to get the highest score. Yeah, of course it yeah. is. But um, <laughs> we haven't looked around, because we took a lot quicker than we expected. It was actually quite quiet as yeah. well, for, but to be fair, it is it's Monday. It's all quite quiet around here, to be honest. Yeah. It's not Monday, darling, it's Wednesday. So we're in a place called Fireway, Fire Away, like the one in Crawley. Um, but this one you can sit in, whereas the other one you can't. And we're having our uh, lunch done. Just thought. Can I see over there? Huh? Is it on delivery? Still recording? Yeah. I don't know, I'm looking to get back. Um, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to, we'll, we've got up until about one o'clock, and then we've got the VR situation to go through. And then we're going from there to where? Coventry. Coventry for some indoor water park. And then it's Stoke on Trent afterwards to wherever we're staying. Where are we staying? Stoke on Trent. No, what's the place? Um, it's the Premier Inn at Trentham. Trentham? Yeah. Premier Inn at Trentham, so. So how that turns out. It goes on the side. So is that real snow or powder snow? No, real. Mm, I thought it was a cozy. Mm. I thought it was like, because I've been on dry skin. That's what I thought it was. No. Hang on. So we're currently in Xscape after being at Fire Away Pizza, which was really, really good. And we're just, I'm just showing the wife the uh, indoor snow because she hasn't seen it before. And this is what this looks like. So I've been here, actually used this twice. And um, I did the class where you're on the kind of mid level and you just did um, skiing of, for like four or five hours, I think it was. Um, and that one was really good, and then I thought I'd be really great and go down the full length, as you can see. I don't know how long this is, I'm going to say somewhere between, what, 300 metres? I have no idea. I'm going to say somewhere between two to 300 metres in length from top to bottom. And I thought I was really good. Turns out I really wasn't, and I really hurt myself. No one known that. So we've just been to the VR place, 
What's it called? The... Uh, Vertigo VR. Vertigo VR. And I would, we recommend it. It was one of those things that, you know whenever you play, you see games on things like YouTube and you think, oh, they're really, really good. VR is really good. I did um, Beat Saber, which I really enjoyed. Yeah, that was the best. Um, Spider-Man, which I found really difficult to try and do, because I put it onto free play rather than uh, the story mode. Um, I did um, Elven, fruit, Elven Archer. Fruit Ninja I played. And some cooking thing multiplayer with Jen. And then Jen did Fruit Ninja, Beat Saber, the cooking one, and something else. Job Simulator and Vacation Simulator. Job and Holiday Simulator. <laughs> The vacation one didn't work. No. But we're just driving through um, Milton, King. Milton King. And this is what it looks like. And it's basically, from what I can gather, just one giant square. Like a giant four square. And uh, you hope to best find your way out. But I will come back here. There may uh, be a VR thing. possibility. There may be a VR thing closer to home, of course. Yeah, there is that too. So, yeah, I recommend coming out to here. Even if you only spend a couple of days, we went around and escaped, as you saw. But it is worth it, and yeah, I'll give it another go. So, we've just left Coventry. It's about quarter past six. We're on our way to the hotel, which is in where? Stoke or Trent? I think Trent them. Trent them. Um, we went to a place called The Wave, which is like a uh, massive indoor water park. It was alright. I mean, is it the best that we've ever been to? God no. The best ones are always in Salou or Grand Canary? No. Um, Sacoma? No, it's not Sacoma. Depends what you think the second best one is. Well, so Lou is the best one we've had so far. Oh, the, the one in Florida was nice. Oh, yeah, there. Florida. But places like Spain, Portugal, that sort of stuff, they're designed for water parks primarily. Um, we were there for about, what, an hour and a half? Mm -hmm. So an hour and a half, and, yeah. Good way to fill up a few hours a little bit of time. <laughs> would it, I've, like I said, would I call it the greatest? Nope. But that's just my opinion. So we'll see you at 60 mile per hour speed limit camera ahead. <laughs> Please watch your speed. At a hotel. So we made it. We're in Streatham, I think it's called. We're actually at a Premier Inn. Um, I don't know the specific address name of it, but it's what it is. Um, this is our room. Now I can't show you everything because Jen, my wife's in the shower. But you got the basics, you know. Front door, there's ex plenty of little mini lights, telly, we haven't really turned it on yet. The sink is outside, yet the shower is about there, the toilet's about there. Um it's a pretty pretty decent double sized bed, happy with that. But the thing is, this is the view from the room. Now you got a Franken Benny's there, I think, I've got my glasses on. There's a restaurant over there which we're going to. I can't remember the name, but I will document it. Then you've got a bowls green here. And then, I suppose, I don't know if it's on that side or that side, but there's this huge garden that you can walk around for free. So we're going to that. And over that behind Frankie and Benny's in that corner is a massive garden centre. So I think we're going to go and do that in the morning because we've got a bit of time to kill before we go out. Um, drive. We've done about 215 miles today. I'm really tired and my foot really hurts. As you can imagine, I've had it just sat like that on the accelerator, the accelerator for about six hours. But it looks like a pretty decent place. This, so not much. I can, can't really complain. Um, I'll do a proper video in the morning because when we get breakfast and with that I'm going to bed so well have a shower then go to bed so see you later morning August the 5th I think yeah yeah it is almost 20 past 9 so we just had breakfast can you move those towels please sorry I'm holding
this one. And over. there's um, the view, <coughs> an actual proper view. Now, um, we're going to Orton Towers today. Where am I? There we are. We're going to Orton Towers today. And then uh, they've got a water park there, so we're going to go to that. Are we just doing those two today? Um, and we're supposed to be going to the gardens over there. Yeah, there's some massive garden. I think it's going to rain some more. Yeah, maybe some big garden site over here, but we need to find where it is. I'm guessing it's over there. Um, but apparently it's meant to thunder today, so kind of 50-50 on that one. And then we're going over there, the willow, tonight for dinner. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, so hotel sleeping-wise, it was actually this bed is actually pretty comfy for. For a place, you know, for Premier Inn, because I've been to a couple where they've been like bricks, but that's actually pretty comfy. I will give it that. And we're literally like next door to the lifts. And we didn't hear a thing last night, so that's a pretty nice little thing. Um, what else? Um, the only bugbear I do have is the, f the fact that by um, by our, the beds. On the bedside, there are no plugs, so everything's all plugged in over there. And there, there's not like one main light. There's loads of little lights, but each one has its own light switch. So you got one for each light there, obviously the bathroom. Then there's one for the sink there. Then there's one in the corner for that light. There's one in the corner for the light on the unit. There's a light switch there. There's a light switch there. And it's just kind of like there's too many. It's like that scene, oh, what was it, um, knocked up, where there's like five types of chair. You don't need five types of chair, that sort of idea, but you don't need it with this many lamps or lights as well. Apart from that, I'm going to go and get ready and then head out. So see you at Alton Towers. Okay, so we are at Alton Towers. And we just got off the monorail, and this is like the main concourse bit, I guess. So you have to use a little bit of logs, but then this is just what we've just as minute seen. We've only got about 300 hours because we've got the water park, which is attached. We just need to work out where, however. So we've got box office. Uh, Little shop, cash points, drinks, guest services, I'm assuming that's the hotels, CBB lands, and just promotional art. Yes, the actual towers over there. In front of you, What, that one in front? Yeah. Okay, that totally makes sense. You can actually go over and see it. Okay. And then some very thirsty frogs who are puking water. And most importantly, it looks like there's a sweet shop. Those aren't moving, these are static. Huh? These are static. We've got a cryer. What's it eating? A lemon. No, there's a lemon and Grapefruit. Oh! 
He looks angry. He's communicating with you. He's like, get me out of here. I want to go back to Epcot. Well, they're in the smog. Do you think this is a bit tall? Towers. Mm -hmm. Around on towers and no, nah. no, nah. it's just not as great as I was as I was expecting. We went on a ride in the castle, and we were expecting it to be some sort of interactive thing. And the first two rooms were, and we sat in the last room, which is basically had this giant log in the middle. And um, suddenly, oh, it was fun. It started moving like this. And then we were up, we were doing like loops, but not like fast loops, just like really slow ones, which made it worse. And then one of the uh, one of the issues that I, well, we have, is that things aren't very clear. Yeah, they're not very clear on directions. So we were going up to look for a place called Jewel, and we followed the route for it, and then suddenly was going like, oh yeah, it's not this way, it's over. It's right over here in like a completely different direction. So we're on the monorail, well wait for it to be loaded. Because in about 25 minutes, we've got to be at the water park to uh, go and do that. But that, hopefully it'll be better. If not, it's not been a wasted day, you know, we've had a decent night's sleep. We've had a few good things. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not all horrible. I mean, it's very picturesque, yeah, I will give it that. But it's... I don't know. I can't even put my finger on it what, it, what it's meant to be. Yeah, what I did. Yeah. I mean, will I rush back? Well, to be fair, I didn't rush back to Chessington or Thorpe Park. But, you know, we'll see what the water park's like. So, we have just left um, Alton Towers, but we were doing the, uh, the theme park this morning, and then we did the water park this afternoon, and out of the two, we both agree that the water park is actually better than the theme park. Yeah. Because the theme park is just kind of like, for one better, it's like a stately ground that's just had bits put on. It's not purpose built like Chessington, Norton Tower, um, no, Port, Port Park, that sort of stuff. Port Ventura. Port, yeah, ones and that. But then the one over here, the Norton Tower was <coughs> the one we've just been to. I would actually go as far as to say that is the best UK one. What water park? Yeah, the best yeah. water park. Though I'm sure Legoland's in the water park now, so I'm just looking at it. Turn left on Farley Lane. You'll hear the sound now going off. Um, yeah, the best water park in the UK. But we're just going to look up to see if Legoland has one. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like it does now. But the actual. I mean, you got in there, it was nice and hot. Drive one mile, it was, then turn right on Station Road. It was nice and warm. Um, wasn't kind of crowded. It had an outside bit, but obviously the weather's a bit poo right now. So that can't be helped. But if we had, if the weather was really hot, like the like heat wave we had, yeah, it would have been absolutely lush. Guys, my wife. In point eight miles, turn um, right on Station Road. It's then got, turn right. 
It's got this massive bucket that drops like oh, so of gallons of water in here. That's really fun. Then uh, there's like um, a climbing frame inside that you can turn off and turn on, turn on and off all the water, the giant jets and that sort of stuff. Uh, then you've got a lazy river, then you've got a main pool, then you've got like a kid's bit which we didn't bother with. And there were, um, yeah, what do you call it, rides with the weights, which yeah. we couldn't be bothered. Ooh. Yeah, there are two, maybe three rides. I well, know one exits out, outside, the other two exit inside. But the queue, because obviously we got there a lot late in the afternoon, it was quite long so we didn't bother, but they did look really good. There is a little water park that Legoland, it must have made that up. Yeah, there's no Legoland water park. Um, the other, the wave yesterday we agreed was just a leisure centre. You wanted to hear I know, but I take you yeah. back now. Was just a leisure centre with some bits in whereas this is a purpose built water, miles, water park. Turn right on station road, then turn right. So we're gonna go we're going back to the hotel to go and get showered and all that sort of stuff. And then if we have time we're going to I don't the, think we'll make the gardens. No, I don't. Um, we're probably going to miss the garden. Turn right on Station Road, then turn right. It was eighteen pounds. Is it down here? Um, yes. No. It was eighteen pounds. Yeah. So turn right on Station Road, yeah, then so turn we're, left. We're going to miss the garden part we were planning, but then we've got dinner at half seven. So yeah, that's about right. Yeah. By the time we get back, it took us about half an hour this morning. Sorry, these are really steep hills. Um, it'll be a, turn right on Smithy yeah, Bank, right. then turn right. It'll be right. Smithy Bank. Mm -hmm. Right, so with that, see you at dinner. Morning, it's August the 6th, it's quarter to ten. Another beautiful English summer day. <coughs> um, we're just about to leave the hotel permanently, and we're going to go to the, was it Monkey Forest? We're going to Monkey Forest, then we're going to Drayton Manor, and then we're going from there to Stratford upon Avon. So we're going to be staying overnight. Um, we're seeing some meow meows tomorrow. Are we? Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to be doing that. Right, hotel wise, can't really fault it. It's pretty decent for what it is. Premier Inn, we'll Premier Inn, yeah. Um, Willows, thoroughly recommend. Really, really liked it, it was very understanding. And our the guy who served this guy called Adam, really, really nice. Dealt with awkward Jennifer. Yeah, dealt with all the awkward situation. You uh, had to send some food back, but no, he did it professionally, no problem with him. That's quite heavy though. Um, so, yeah, apart from that, we're going to go and see some monkeys. When a monkey crosses your path, you're their bum. Not. That's how I feel. <laughs> Not something that happens often. I'm going to ask if it's obvious if they're boy or girls. Like, if it's cats, it's not, right? Get off my It's my app. It's going to be one of them days into where
was running off. <laughs> That's the mum. No, he's running off to the baby with it. Yeah, the mum. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I meant the baby was running off, so the mum had to run after it. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's off, oh it's off again. Oh, there's one running down the tree. Mm. So now she's got what she comes over with baby. Well, the baby's now, so what they're only coming home, so you can go one in the car. Just so we've been to Monkey World, Monkey Forest, I mean, that was actually really good, I mean, you don't expect, uh, obviously, to see monkeys sort of freeming, free roaming around the area, because usually they're in like pens or something. Yeah, they were... Pretty happy. Yeah, pretty, ha pretty happy. We were debating what would be better to be in there, so would it be better to be a monkey or a squirrel? Or a duck, and we came to the conclusion, or rat, or because there's the four we saw, and we came to the conclusion just were massive because all four are protected in there and they don't kind of get in each other's way. So that was quite nice, and it was like six quid per person, so not breaking the bank, which is nice. So we're on our way to Drayton Manor, so we're about. Uh, half four, an hour? Well, it's just gone half eleven according to my watch, so it's going to take us about. Four to five minutes apparently, but I think that timing's a bit off. We finally had a break from the rain, which is nice. So, I mean, don't know, it's not bright sunny weather, but you can see kind of little blue patches starting to creep through. And um, I can't turn the camera around because I'm seeing. Hello. No, it's uh, Trenton. It's actually a really nice place. I was. I think it's Trenton. I think so. Anyway. So Trentham or Trentum or Trenham. Fine. Trentham, yes. Trentham, Trentham, whichever. Um, it's actually a really nice area. I mean, the place we stayed at, the Premier Inn, that site was really good because it's like a little, little estate of its own. So, like us, you only stay a couple of nights. Perfect. If you're staying there long, like a week or two, you probably get a bit bored. But Last night, when we were uh, coming back from the water park, we realised how unwaterproof our shoes were, our trainers were, so we had to go and buy some. And this Tesco was only about, what, 10 minutes on the road? Yeah. Something like that. One of those really big ones. So we Run about, about, take third exit to A34. So that was that. And, um, like I said, we're on our way to Drayton Manor, so next pot is there. Okay, so we made it to Drayton Manor. This is the map for it. The sun is trying to come out to give us a bit of a bit of a break. But I tell you what, that's just literally walking through the front gate. And already this looks more inviting than the yeah. towers. Um, yeah. I mean a couple of the rides are closed because of the how it is. I just saw it go. Oh, it looks like it was closed, but I just saw someone on it. Too what fair. Was that? I'm Winston. Nice to meet you. I'm the Fat Controller's Track Inspection Car. It's my job to make sure everything is safe and good working order. The Fat Controller isn't quite used to driving me yet. And get a little bumpy for you as my driver. I'm sure it will be a smooth journey. <laughs> There's plenty to see and do. Let's see what the other engines are up to. Let's 
spot, Thomas. Who's that big cranking up ahead? Oh, it's cranky. I hope it isn't too cranky today. <laughs> Off we go around the bend to see Harold on his heading tours. Whee oh, this is fun. Sparky's cousin. Sparky's cousin. I wonder if it's the closest to the domestic area. Who knows? What's this called? It's called a fishing cat. This is a fishing cat. It's even blinking like the way Spark does. So Jen's riding a horse, I'm riding a giant car. <laughs> it's not a complaint, it's just an observation. <laughs> so we've just left Drayton Manor. And we were just discussing it, and we've actually come to the conclusion that this and Legoland are probably about equal 
in how good they are. Oh, no, I didn't say that. I said this in Chessington. Legoland's better. Alright. This Legoland here in Chessington, Thorpe Park, then Orton Towers, in my opinion. Yeah, well, I've never been to Thorpe Park, but the others, I agree. Um, I mean, it's just nice that it's built for it and all that sort of stuff. Whereas, do we actually need to pay for that? No, I'm sure we did. Um, oh, yeah, because we came from the garage, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, Orton Towers Turn right on is Drayton just Manor Drive. a section, an old building that's just had yeah, bits built on. Yeah. Whereas this is actually designed for it. So that's, in my opinion, why it's so much better. Now we're off to uh, Western. No, no, we're not. Drive three miles, then turn right. Always one that recognises the. Uh, I hate those. If you're like, now I've got a ticket. Thanks. Right. Yeah, so uh, we're going down to Stratford Point Haven now for a, for our overnight. Brandon Man sitting on the floor. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you when we get to Stratford. So it's ten to six. We've just made it to Stratford upon Avon after about an hour and 35 minute drive which was only meant to take 45 minutes because the sat nav took us through Warwick and Warwickshire and Strap then somewhere else really stupid route over here uh, hotel is Crown Plaza This is our room. We've been given been given an, up, an upgrade, and start off with the basics. So Ooh. A normal sink and nice. bathroom and usual stuff. Oh, and then massive bed with added gill attached to it. Uh, usual mod cons. How uh, comfy is it, love? Quite comfy. What is this, a uh, king? Yes, king. Yeah. yeah, so at home we've got a double bed. So this is a king size bed. So that's good. Um, view, I'm not too fussed about. Because over there in the corner is the eye. Or their version of it. So, and that's the River Avon down there, I think. Basically, once we've had dinner, we should come back here and sit in this little restaurant here. You overlook yeah. the water. Yeah. It's open until 11. Yeah, it's pub. Um, yeah, so do that and then we're going to go and get our dinner and get some petrol. Going you want to eat else. Morning, it's the 7th and last night was not a good night because I rephrase that actually. Last night staying here at the Crown Plaza in Stratford upon Avon is not a good night because. We've now found out that that window is stuck, and by that I mean they've glued it shut. The toilet doesn't flush. There were no. Um, there's. It does flush. It's just not very good. No, it didn't flush for a while. Oh, okay. Um, the hot water, some hot water didn't work properly for me. So no, there's, it was loads, a of, there's shell. loads of. There's loads of air stuck in the pipe, so you can run it and it spurts everywhere. The shower is, pressure is non-existent. It's like when you turn on a, like a tap on really, really low, that's not its full power. Um, Towels? Yeah, we don't think the room was made up properly. Like There were bits missing, so for instance, we had nothing to dry ourselves with, so I had to go and find some towels. Um, although... <coughs> Um, and don't forget that I asked reception for them and they never came. Yeah, so we did that. It's not particularly loud, so that's like one. Um, these pillows are literally like bags of potatoes. They are so like dense and uncomfortable. And um, we haven't even had breakfast yet, so that's going to be interesting. So. Yeah, I mean, the area itself, absolutely lovely. Yeah, we went out for dinner last night, and it was really, really good. Then we had a bit of a walk around just to walk it off. Then I had to go get some petrol, so that was fine. 
but this hotel it just needs some major work and the stupid thing is it's what 172 like so for the price of the hotel for two nights at the hotel in Stoke is one night here I think I can't remember and the other one was better the Premier Inn so that says a lot so we're going to go <coughs> this morning get some breakfast then we're going to go to the Mad Museum and then we're going to Shakespeare's to see some cats and have food and then about that is about half three so then we're going to head off to Western Supermare tonight so it should be getting there for about six-ish and then um, two good. nights at the other place was 120 yeah, so the Premier Room was 120 quid for two nights, and this was £170 for one night. Bit of a joke, really. Well, it wouldn't have been if it was. <laughs> Does this not remind you of those um, toys you used to get back in the 90s? No, do you know what it reminds me of? The penguin thing, they just go around the... Yeah, it is a bit like that, but it reminds me of the opening to Sesame Street when we were younger. There was a thing that did that in the advert, in the <coughs> video. Do you not remember? I never watched it. Just 
swinging around in that cone. He's going lower. I might just get a sandwich at the cafe. I'm just going to drink. A drink. Maybe <coughs> you just get a bit of cake. Well, I'm just thinking what you really need. Sponsor. What had? Oh yes, sponsor. That's what you were going to So we've been to the Man Museum and don't get wrong, it's good, but you don't need more than maybe half hour. Half hour. Five minutes tops. So we've uh, managed to get there quite early. Try and book down to So it's midday, but we've decided. Obviously now we've done that. We've got about two hours before we got to go to the. Uh, it's called Shakespeare's. So it's a cat cafe. Just going for a wander because when we were here last we didn't come over this side because there was a fair on this half and we were parked over in that car park but we never actually saw over here so this is new to us <coughs> um just seen yeah we went to you remember the name of it was there's an ice cream shop that we saw again from back in 19 and um, it was a, it's a sit down place primarily, but I think that they've only I think they only really open up the um, the takeaway part in the summer, and it will be in the summer. So yeah, kill two birds with one stone. And it's still the weather that is the summer. Yeah, I mean to be fair, it's not exactly what you call cold here. I mean, yeah, I will do that. I mean, it's got a nice little breeze, but it's not. And I'd say it's about, what, 20? I don't know, just now I wanted to put my jumper on. But now I don't, now I'm hot. Yeah, it is very temperamental, but again, like the wife said, English summer. But, it is... Spain, he's the artist. <laughs> she wants to go to Spain quite badly, and so do I. But, because we've already been here, at least we know what this place is like, so... We know it's going to be good here. Except for the hotel, which was rubbish. It was so bad that, as I said, we had the toilet didn't flush properly, the shower and the sink had no pressure, the pillows were just bricks, and the, uh, what was that? the window didn't open, and no bath, towels. no bath towels or anything like that, so we had to go and find them. Hmm. Don't go to the Crown Plaza in Stratford upon Avon. Well, you do, don't get an upgraded room. Yeah. I mean, the bed itself was quite comfy, but the pillows were just atrocious. But that's a different story altogether. Should we sit here for a while? Right, with that, we're going to go off and see what else, what other trouble we can get into. So we were just sitting here watching all these rowers over here, and then we see right over in the corner this happen. And the guy's just sitting there. Ordering her about. Yeah. Like those monkeys yesterday. And then she's desperately trying to get him back out, but he's just like, oh, hang on, I'll fall in.
So we're leaving Stratford upon Avon, it's 25 to 4, and uh, we've just finished at Shakespeare's Caf, Cat Cafe, which is always a pleasure, and we have seen many puddy cats, mm -hmm. and it's some for drink each, and uh, something to eat each, about 20 quid, so it wasn't cheap, but it was worth it because obviously you get to see all the cats and everything. If Drive point one miles, if you're, then keep right on road. If you're a cat fan, like a certain someone is. Plus you. Yes, yeah, so I do like a cat. Keep right on road, then keep left. So we're on our way to Western Superman now, so that's about 90 miles, so I reckon it's going to take about two hours. So we missed the rain, which was good. Um, hopefully, get it by about half five. So the next time you see us, we'll be in Weston. See you there. So we've arrived in Weston Supermare, and this is the flat we're in, Dover House, I think it's called. And this is off. Well, we've only been here like ten minutes, but so here we've got spare room two with usual bits and bobs. And then we've got the hallway, standard, one big mirror. Then we've got a very, very decent sized bathroom. Really surprised how big this is. So you've got nice bath size and a decent shower size. And toilet, yeah. One thing I did notice, oh, and obviously you've got master bedroom. You've got a single cupboard in there. So this is the view from the Juliet balcony, so it is what it is, but at least I can see my car, so that's fine. Um, one thing I did notice a minute ago, and it really hurt, was this step. But this is the front room, and this is not exactly where you call small. <laughs> so you've got our ki the kitchen over here, everything but the dishwasher, but I'm not bothered about that. Anything I'm trying to work out is the oven because I haven't figured out how to use that yet. But I've worked out everything else. I've asked her. Okay. And then you've got 4K 65 inch TV, which we will be using. But this is the view. <laughs> right now the weather is crap. But one thing we did notice on the way up was this thing. And it basically looks like a fucking prison camp. So if someone can tell me what that is. Would be really appreciative. Um, I don't know anything about Western Supermare apart from, yeah, my version kitchen YouTuber Barry Lewis lives here somewhere. That's about it. And then, like I said, we got better view over here. But it's very, very windy right now. But this. No, but this. Flat is actually very, very nice size. Nice, Massive size. And this is for an Airbnb. And this is actually. This was built, when did I say? Two. It was renovated from a yucky 
the hotel in 2016. Yeah, so originally, <coughs> originally it used to look like this back in 16, and then it was empty. Oh, so, I need the Wi -Fi. so then they built into this. <coughs> the Wi-Fi code. So that's that.